Okay, welcome everyone to this video with me, Hamza Sheikh, from Two Worlds Design, where we're going to be going through a very quick tutorial for anyone who is looking to create a collage in Photoshop. Uh, in particular, if you are an architecture student, you'll probably find this video very useful given that my background is in architecture too. So the image that you're going to see created today is quite a crazy one. It is a neoclassical, crazy parasitic graft that, you know, I, I do these kind of visuals because this is the sort of style that I put out on my Instagram. This is the sort of work that uh, excites me. Um, so if you are interested in experimental architectural drawings, representation, check out my work on Instagram. The link is in the description. Okay, so to get into this now, as you saw in the beginning, make sure you are taking notes so you get maximum value from this. I will try to go through things quite quickly, but I won't rush through the important things. For example, what you're seeing on your screen now, um, and that is the image selection. I think the image selection is one of the most important things to have an effective collage on Photoshop. Um, I see a lot of other YouTubers rushing through this and that's why I didn't want to kind of do the same. So basically what you're seeing is I have two websites open mainly uh, because they are the best for finding images in my opinion that is Google and Pinterest. Um, you can use whatever image searches you want, but I tend to find everything I need uh, just by these two websites and you don't want to have too many things open because it just confuses the process. So the aim is to try and find the best images for your collage, obviously, but there's a question I get asked a lot by students um, and that is whether you have to plan your images in advance or whether you just make them up as you go. Now, I think this, you can go about it both ways. You can, you can have an image in mind, you can have a very planned out drawing and then go and find the perfect images for that drawing. But in my case, uh, in what you're watching right now, I actually was just kind of freestyling this. I just found the images that interested me on the particular topic of this theme that I was interested in, which was old architectural drawings and the parasitic nature of how they would graft onto an existing building. Um, and so I just went around looking. So you can see all these images that were just taking my fancy. I have um, no criteria, no strict criteria in mind apart from does it look good as a elevation or a section? Now there is some skewing of perspective as you can see on the Photoshop canvas where the, I am manipulating some of the images a little bit but generally speaking I'm looking for flat images that can be used in an effective way uh, so elevations, sections, plans, these drawings work quite well when you start getting into these complex as you can see these sort of complex you know perspective drawings with so much depth and detail it can be very hard to collage them in effectively so make sure you're choosing kind of images with clear thresholds and another thing to bear in mind a quick tip is take whatever you can remember that don't be precious and don't be nervous to take drawings that have already been done by other people um, as long as you make sure you change and manipulate them enough to not make sure you're not infringing on any copyright issues um, but yeah, make sure you take anything and everything. As you can see in this slide, I'm, I've literally ended up on a random website of old archival historical drawings, and I'm taking the just the blank page because I suddenly realized it was quite nice. So, so take whatever you want and just have fun with it. And remember, don't be precious about, oh, this is, this is someone else's work, I can't take it. No, you can, you know, architecture and, and and finding novel ideas is such a such a weird subject because nothing really is original everything is an amalgamated reproduction of something else so as long as you're you're changing the image and rotating it skewing it cropping it that's the whole beauty of collaging um, and also just make sure you're not selling these images as your own because I don't know, there might be some issues in that, but in terms of just putting stuff out for your Instagram, then, you know, 
there's no problem whatsoever in using images uh, of other drawings so be free be playful and make sure you're working also make sure you're working to the square canvas just a quick side note okay so now it's time to speed up the process and crack on with this workflow so now it's just a matter of taking your selected images and really having fun with them really moving them around cutting them rotating them skewing them making sure you apply the crucial multiply or darken effects also luminosity will be a really good filter uh, these are the three main kind of uh, overall filters i'm using to blend each image together in an effective way um, and you've really got to think about it in in the same way you would think about a physical collage process so imagining you've got a actual physical canvas in front of you and you've chopped up some images from magazines newspapers and whatnot and you're literally then you've collected your your your, your kind of images and now you're just going through the process of rotating stuff and shifting their positions and whatnot so it's the same thing but it's just happening in the digital uh, realm instead so obviously you've got the added advantage of being able to scale things and rub things out so you end up with really really cool collages on photoshop as compared to the ones you would on um, you know a physical collage so yeah really treat this like a physical collage and have fun with it uh, one thing you'll see me constantly do throughout this tutorial as well is i am very often rotating stuff and changing the complete composition by you know a full 180 degree turn or a full 90 degree turn so make sure you are also being very fluid and not precious about your image um, you might find by literally flipping it or mirroring it you find a much better composition um, another thing to bear in mind is you'll also be making stuff up on the spot if you're doing it the way i do so grabbing other photographs and grabbing other images will probably play a big part in this during your your work anyway so it really is a fluid workflow it really is a messy workflow but there is a system to it and hopefully you've got an idea of what that system is um, and you've taken some notes that might be helpful for you so just to quickly summarize these are the things you will need one make sure you are using google or pinterest or your image sources something not not too many things but just find your image sources and then two start to find the best and perfect images create an archive of your images and then three bring them into your photoshop file and four start to play start to really play around and quick tips to remember here are make sure you're free with rotating changing and whatnot and second tip i would say is as you can see here come in at the end and and, and start to refine things with burning and highlighting stuff and adding lines uh, and i think my final tip is quite a cool one is go if it's looking a bit too crazy and not architectural enough go off and actually find something that is obviously architectural um, in my case i found a plan that you can see in the back of this it makes it a composite drawing and two i actually also went off and found a, a sectional staircase to put in as well and that really starts to bring in scale starts to bring in formal architectural narrative as well um, so I hope you found that helpful a very quick tutorial hopefully tried to keep that under 10 minutes and i hope you took notes and remember to stay up to date on my channel two worlds design for more tutorials more insights into the architectural drawing process but also remember the two worlds design podcast series is up and running and running full speed ahead with amazing guests um, if you like this you probably will love episode two where i spoke to a bartlett medal award winner uh, about creating standout showpiece drawings but otherwise there are so many episodes to choose from and amazing episodes on the way that's all from me leave a comment if you like this leave a comment if you want any more tutorials on any images from my instagram let me know send me a dm keep in touch till next time